Hey, what's happening, everybody? Guess who got their dimming control under control? That's right, this guy. Been working at it all day. Been banging my head against the wall for two weeks trying to get the dimming code working. And all I had to do was ask one of you kitties out there how to do it. So a big shout out, thank you to Nick Devon. He's got a similar build called the New Life Reef Controller at Reef Central. I think he calls it Okinos or something like that now. But it only took this dude 10 minutes to get this old geezer up to speed on how to do it. Just one two sentence email actually. And then took me 10 minutes of coding. So all you youngsters out there with your video games and your smarty phones, I smell like mustard. Thank you very much, Nick. Anyway, just to run over the, this is the LED screen controller. I had to add all sorts of buttons to it. Uh, this is just goes back to the LED screen. This is the touch uh, down. Um, these will go down by five. Then I have it to where they can go down by one or up by one or up by five. This will power it down to zero or back up to maximum. I have it set at 50 right now, but uh, I'll set it to the maximum level once I get it dialed into the blend that I want. And then that's just an enter button. So let's have some fun. I'll get the camera set up and I'll uh, go through all the color channels with you. Because I'm really excited about this. It really looks great. Okay, everybody, we're back. I just rebooted the Arduino and uh, got the code up and working. This is comes on, when it reboots, it comes on at full on uh, every channel. The royal blue, the white, the blue, and the ultraviolet. Now, if you watched my last video, you're probably saying to yourself, damn, that's a hell of a lot brighter than the way it was in the last video. And you're right, it is. Uh, I found out that uh, because the Arduino wasn't working properly, or I actually didn't have it plugged in that I was only getting half the the current and uh, half the voltage coming through my driver so it, it was about half so once I got the code up and working and got the Arduino actually plugged in and everything's working it really amped up the voltage uh, so it is going to take some blending uh, I'm actually quite happy to see how bright it is because that gives me a lot more control for dialing it in. So I'm probably going to have to get in the shot here so don't mind me. Um, just keep an eye on the tanks. We'll start off with just uh, let's just shut down every channel starting with the whites. So that'll be that's with the ultraviolet, the blue and the royal blue on. Let's go ahead and take out the blues. That's just with uh, Royal Blues at 100%. And now, my favorite here. Oops. The Ultraviolet. I really like that look. Uh, if you bring that down a little bit. Uh, I plan on using it for my mood lighting. Uh, ultraviolet isn't really too good for corals and such like, such like uh, things like that. It's not good for life in general. That's why we wear sunscreen and stuff. But uh, I really like the look of it. And these aren't actual ultraviolet LEDs. They're called pure violet. So uh, it is it is in that lighting spectrum though. So you do have to be careful. Uh, I only went with six out of 48 LEDs total, so it should be okay. If we drop this down a little bit. Hang on a second. You know, if we start dropping the royal. I don't know if that's going to be picking up on camera, but that's going to make 
for some really good moonlighting. If not, I can always go with uh, the blues at like 5% or something like that. So, if I want to get back up to 50%, uh, everything's off. So I got the, ultra, the ultraviolet channel back up to 50%. Royal Blues, 50%. Regular Blues, 50%. And Whites at 50%. And Whites seem to wash out everything. So I think I had it dialed in. The Whites were... I had the Whites at like 20%. The blue, the regular blue, like 30%, and the royal blue at 60. So that was kind of the, the look I was going for with the tank. It looks really bright on the camera now that I step back here, but it's really not all that bright. Um, let's back off the whites a little bit. This is with the whites at 13%. Getting a little more blue. It's really blue looking here. I do like the, the whites up a little bit more. But if we go. That's with whites only. Whites only at 50%. Definitely needs the blue in here. But I've got full dimming control. I can move on. It was really a headache. I was really hating life for a little bit because I just couldn't get there. So now it's on to the sunrise sunset. And that, when I get that all ready to go, the sunrise and sunset is going to move left to right on the tank. So it'll, it'll come up, it'll ramp up this way, and then it'll come down this way. And I'll have some lightning storms and all that stuff, but probably six months down the road. It only took me four months to figure this much of it out. But uh, just having some fun. I really like the blues and the purple. Hopefully the purple will come, come out. That's royal, that's royal blue again. Just royal blue at 50%. That's royal blue with the ultraviolet at 50%. Let's ramp up the ultraviolet a little bit, see what we can get. On there. That's it. That's it with the, the ultraviolet and the royal blue together. Royal blue is 50%, the ultraviolet's 100. So, I'll be playing around with this for probably a couple days until I figure out the look that I like. But uh, I'm really uh, happy. It's always good when a plan comes together. You don't really know for sure, especially when you haven't done something before, like an LED build, a microcontroller build. That uh, really happy that I did my research and uh, it's coming along just fine. 
Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Hopefully with the sunrise sunset. Later.